for the advancement exam, it's it can seem really scary because not a lot of people talk about it. And going into it, first I try to talk to like um, more advanced graduate students who have already passed advancement. And I think knowing their experience and also the kind of questions that your committee will ask is really helpful to know um, as you're studying for advancement. Um, and to also give yourself like a good, like at least two week to a month of studying, at least at the minimum, which is what I gave myself. And really it's like, I think it, it's a, it starts to become a level of like comparing your work and like putting your work into the perspective of like other people's uh, studies as well. And just like understanding how your work applies to like a broader context. And going into advancement, I felt pretty comfortable, I think, because I spent so long, I guess, studying for it. Like again, I spent like, a, I think a month or two weeks or so. The exam itself um, was interesting and I guess a little different for me, I guess, because I uh, didn't present just in front of my committee members. So it didn't give them like, I guess, the opportunity to interrupt throughout the presentation. Like I just gave the presentation, which is actually really nice in that I wasn't interrupted. And then at the end was when like the real exam started and they would like take turns asking questions. And the questions themselves, I feel, were also on that different level of like making sure you, you understood your research in a way that you can apply it to these other studies and see it in more of a broader perspective. Um, which I guess somewhat surprised me because they didn't go into the, like the nitty gritty of like how did you analyze this or that or like what techniques did you use for this like so um, so yeah like I think also it's okay that you don't know the answer to some of the questions like I definitely would say like I don't know if I didn't know the answer Sometimes I would try to give like my best shot at it, but it's also fine if you just don't know the answer to a question that they're asking, because then they can try and reword it in a way that you might be able to answer it. Um, and yeah, so that was that was my experience, I guess, with the advancement exam, and somewhat my advice as well. So I just took my advancement exam um, this past summer, so it was. Imme like immediately after my third year as a graduate student here. I think the most memorable thing to me for advancement was the studying, the preparation for it, um, because it's basically looking within yourself and trying to see what are your weaknesses and addressing those in a way that's gonna like please your committee. Um, that's kind of how I, I approached it and it was, it was helpful enough for me to pass my advancement. Um, but it's one of those things that it's by design going to be anxiety inducing and stressful. But give yourself time to study for it. Trust yourself that you know the material of your project and the literature that led to your project. Um, and you know, just practice discipline, just make a plan, stick to a plan of reading, writing, and analyzing your data. That's probably what I'd say about it. <laughs>